Hey there, Aquarius. So welcome to your love reading. So, okay. So the Ace of Cups came out earlier and it's coming out again. Okay. So we have a little bit of a mixed bag. Let me just see here. Okay. So let me talk about this. We have here the Ace of Cups. This is grand love. This is the great love, okay? A love where you feel like you can sacrifice your all for another person. You've been through the, the hoops with them. You know, you've jumped through some hoops for them. You've given everything that you can to the other person. It was very selfless and it was very like, um, it was very real. So Aquarius, it took you a really long time, I feel, to overcome this relationship from your past, okay? Because when, you know, as a fixed sign, when you love, you actually love very, very deeply. And you actually give so much of yourself in a relationship. A lot of people complain that Aquarius are unfeeling, unemotional. But it's because they don't really know, they, they might not have been with, with an Aquarius person that truly loves them. But when Aquarius people love, they really know how to love truly, completely, heart, body, and mind. And they can like make great sacrifices for the other person. So I feel like you were in a situation where you gave a lot of yourself, like your soul, your complete being. And what came in with the High Priestess is, I feel like the person did not deserve it. The person did not deserve it. They didn't. They might have taken it for granted. There were a lot of things revealed about the other person that just, you know, red flags all over. And I feel like you were so completely blinded that you had your, you know, rose colored glasses on. You saw the best in the other person and you assigned them characteristics or qualities that they did not have. Okay. So the process here, be, I'm glad this is moving away from your past, into your past, or at least it's in your, your past right now, because it basically signals that I feel like for many of you with the high priestess in the reverse, you still see this person in a very um, good light. You still, you know, even if you're no longer in love with them, right, but you still see them in a very good manner. You still have these godlike qualities that you ascribe to that person, and it's not real. So that same energy about, you know, wake up, you know, not being so naive. Just wake up and see the situation for what it is. That's coming in. And so you're a little bit blinded here by your emotions and your feelings for a person, and you're not seeing the reality. And I feel like some of you are still dealing with this person. Others of you, this was somebody from your past that you still have warm feelings for, even though they didn't deserve that, even though they have fallen from their pedestal, even though they have done a lot of bad things, okay? Um, the high priestess usually indicates hidden information, information that somebody um, purposely kept from you because it's damaging to their character. So lying, cheating, infidelity, stealing. I feel like all of these things are possibilities. And um, I feel like you still forgive that person and you still hold them in high regards, which is kind of, it, it just doesn't make sense. So if this sounds familiar, Aquarius, you need to open your eyes up a little bit, okay? The foundation is something that we know to be true. This is something you already know. It's not news to you. We have here the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is a long distance relationship that many of you might be in. And I feel like some of you are in a long distance relationship where you're trying to find ways to be with that person. You're trying to find ways to kind of like reorient, realign your life so that your life and their life matches up so that you can be in the same location that they are in. And I feel like this is something that has happened before. Think back, you know, like a few years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, 
was there another person that was very similar was there a situation that's also very similar where you try to reorient to redesign your life so that you can be with them and then if you did how did that work out was it everything you thought it was be would be or was it were you blinded by love and it didn't you know it led to a lot of false promises so we need to be really careful about patterns here and it's linked up as well with the nine of wands which indicates to me others of you in a long distance relationship you don't want to fight for this relationship anymore you're in the process of thinking like you want to give up because you feel like yes i care about this person but they're not all that. I can find another person out there that is all that. And so I'm sensing a mixed energy here. Some of you are seeing the reality of things. Others are still a little bit blinded and are still a little bit idealistic and naive approaching a situation. And I would hate it if you just, you know, redesign your life to cater to a relationship partner to go where they are and have things not work out the way you anticipate so if there's a relation relationship that is long distance i feel like it might be time for you to reassess whether or not it's worth continuing or whether or not you want to just drop it and leave it alone okay crowning the, uh, i'm sorry in the middle of the spread here the center of the spread is the emperor and the eight of wands so i feel like this needs to be said and i feel like this is a spiritual message spiritual advice for you that's what it feels like here with this emperor and i do feel for many of you you have a little bit of a guardian angel coming into the picture and they're telling you you have a lot of options that are on the table you will have a lot of opportunities to date you will have a lot of suitors that are coming into the picture possibly somebody that is a lot older than you as well but with this emperor card i feel like it's a loving paternal influence coming into the picture and telling you open your eyes and telling you as well give up on this because there is plenty of other options out there okay that's honestly what i'm sensing and so crowning this reading well the Eight of Wands is the arrows of love. It's things happening very, very fast. A lot of communication, a lot of people soliciting you for dates, solici soliciting you for uh, social outings, soliciting you and telling you that they want to be with you. And this is sincere. This is fast. This is very clear communication. And so I feel like your guides are telling you, move away from it. And there will be other opportunities for love. You don't have anything to fear. And so if you're in a situation where you feel like that was the great love, I will never be able to have that again. Well, you're wrong. Your guides are telling you that you will have it again. And so the important thing is to realize these patterns and realize that we're not stuck in these patterns. It's because there was a lesson that you were supposed to learn. So if you have similar energies of people repeating or relationship patterns repeating with different people or people that are very similar to somebody you've dated in the past coming into the picture it's not destiny it's basically telling you there's something that you needed to learn that you didn't learn the first time aquarius so moving on crowning this reading we have here the ten of cups crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about ten of cups in the reverse which is a situation where it had it started out with really high hopes and high expectations and over time it is kind of like your expecta expectations or your your wishes and you know everything that you thought it could be the potential of the relationship falls below expectation it's not all that great and i feel as well you're thinking that it's a fun exciting relationship but it doesn't give you that emotional depth that you're looking for it doesn't give you that f full commitment and it doesn't give you that you know that sense of safety it feels like you're better off here you know dating other people or getting to know other people so some of you i honestly feel like if it's a long distance relationship you're thinking about moving on and then others of you, you're trying to branch out, 
I feel like you're going out with your friends, you're going out to meet people, you're doing the meet and greet mainly because your relationship currently is very stagnant and you want more. You want that stimulation. You want that connection. You want more energy. You want more communication and you're not getting that in your existing relationship. And so moving forward, future position, the Ten of Wands. This is like a, a burden of a relationship that you're still moving forward with. And then this is a card about releasing a burden. Um, it can go two ways. Some of you are still stuck with this, you know, a, being in a relationship where it's very difficult, where every day it's like you make plans with the person and then they change the plans at the last minute. Or, you know, you're supposed to have alone time with them finally. And then something happens and it's like every time it, it's never a convenient time for the two of you to be alone. There's always other people in the picture, other problems in the picture. And it's like you're constantly the one having to bring everything, having to do everything. And I, I feel like it's, it's difficult. I feel like it's burdensome. And some of you are just like, I'm almost there. I've made it. I'm just going to go ahead with it. But I do sense here with this Nine of Wands in the reverse, you've thought about dropping this burden for quite some time. And then others, I feel like you're physically going to drop it because this is the month where your love life starts to open up. You have more communication. You have more solicitors. You have as well some divine protection coming through and even people that you were supposed to be with, that you're supposed to cross paths with, that you will really like. And so you're able to drop a relationship because you feel like you deserve more and you want more. Singles very very good month today it's a very good month okay um i'm seeing all kinds of signs honestly but fire well i'm seeing all kinds of signs but i'm seeing somebody that is potentially older than you so if you can make yourself available for dating it is going to be very phenomenal like it's a phenomenal month for you to date and then for others of you straggling struggling relationships i feel that some relationships are going to end this month and it's going to be very final and um, it's not something that's coming to you as a surprise because that's more like the tower. It's going to be something that you kind of like have already foreseen, that you have already anticipated, that you might have already mulled over this decision for quite some time. It's not going to be coming at a as a surprise. And it's going to feel a lot better after you unburden or unload that relationship, okay? Um... I hope the reading has been helpful, Aquarius, for those in stable relationships, especially with an older partner. There's going to be a lot of travel, a lot of communication, a lot of taking trips together, having a really good time together, having this person show you the world, or having this person, you know, really take care of you, take care of the logistics, take care of the the lodging, take care of the accommodation, take care of the driving. So I feel like you're in good hands is what they're saying. They're going to show you the world and they're going to take you many, many places. So existing relationship with older people, I feel it's going to work out really well. And then I also feel a lot of dating energies as well. So good month, a lot of changes are happening Aquarius, but I feel like it's, um, it's overdue. Okay. Um, I hope the reading is helpful. Once again, I'll be back for the mid-month reading. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.